Usually, a boat is a mere transportation above water reaching one point to another. Usually. But this is the constant we are talking about and in this world there are techniques, uses, or random stupid shenanigans that apply and still make total sense. Let's look through them, shall we? Number 1. Spider Boat You can plant spider nests on deck, except no spiders will ever spawn. Still, the nest will continue to grow and eventually can be harvested purely for silk. If left even longer, the queen will hatch from the nest, and well, do what you want with that. Number 2. Anchor Boat your water base sure is ugly, but at least it can be compact. Anchor down and use ore to sail slower yet with more precision. Also, if you're a total idiot when sailing, keep the anchor on middle so you don't have to run across entire deck to make emergency break. Number 3. Leafy Boat Not the best source of food, but meat bulb can be planted for leafy meat farm without pesky eyeballs biting at your ankle. Number 4. Hound Boat you are safe from many enemies from surface, but not from hounds. They can swim towards you and jump aboard, so either outsail them or fight them. Number 5. Companion Boat Chester, Glomer, Pigmen, Bunnymen, and Beefalo are one of those who can follow you onto boat. Except Pigmen and Bunnymen can only hop on by putting some distance, and Beefalo requires a saddle. Should you kill Glomer on boat away from surface, no Krampus will spawn, and you can get away from such heinous crime. Number 6. Push Boat You could push around items on water using boats, including planted kelps. Push them near the shore for easier harvesting if you want. Number 7. Wreck Boat After countless stupid mistakes, you finally sunk the boat, and say goodbye to everything you built on it as you will get no resource back. Though most items do float, there are exceptions that include but are not limited to stone, cut stone, gold, bundling wrap, and antler. Although Stag Antler dropped by Claws does reappear back at Floral Gate. Number 8. Map Boat Place an Occuvigil on boat and let it loose. This can be used to map out seas by its own and possibly pinpoint location of Lunar Island. A method for those who are very lazy and could afford such costly items. Number 9. Ghost Boat Rather extreme but you could kill yourself to float around the ocean. Long as you are aware of your bearings, this could be one method to scout the waters for Lunar Island. Number 10. Nightmare Boat Your deck is perhaps better placed to combat nightmare creatures. Since they do not enjoy wetting themselves, they will keep on reappearing back on boat, where you have the advantage of stun locking them. Number 11. Tentacle Boat Wickerbottom can spawn tentacles on probably least one in place. I personally don't know why anyone would do this, but surprise me if you find any use besides creating execution platform. Glitch section. These may be patched later, but until then, try not to recreate these. A captain goes down with the ship, but don't try this as a were beaver. As you can see, there will be no progress whatsoever. Do not fall asleep or get attacked by Charlie upon getting on or off the boat, as it results in serious movement glitch. Even if you somehow relocate yourself, you will be constantly sliding back to where you came from. Whatever you do, avoid building B-Box on boat. Not only it becomes useless, but when it is set on fire, the result will be disaster. <laughs> then there is also interesting method to instantly kill many giants using the boat, which I will specify in this video. If you wish to witness the full power of a boat with 100 sails, take a look at this video. Like, share, and subscribe, and with that being said, cheers.